Hey, domestic violence is something that most people don't like to talk about, but if it's happening to you or to a friend or in your home, could you recognize it? And if you did, what do you do about it? Well, the Domestic Violence Action Center is here to help us answer these questions and more. Joining us today is Monique Ibarra. She's our Chief Executive Officer of the Domestic Violence Action Center. Thank you so much for being with us, sis. Aloha. Thank you for having me. Now, this month is a very important month, right? It is Domestic Violence Awareness Month, and it's an important opportunity to shed light on domestic violence and its effects on our families and on our communities. And I do understand we do have a lot of activities that mm -hmm. people can participate in throughout the month, but please tell us, how do we keep our communities safe? Keeping, keeping our community safe is about speaking up, is about talking about it. Getting rid of the stigma and the shame that comes with being in an abusive relationship is very important. It's going to take all of us as a community to really make changes in hopes to stop the violence from happening. Yeah, and, you know, and it's not just physical vi violence, right? It's not just physical abuse. Um, that's a kind of domestic violence, right? Or that, are there others? That's right. It's really a controlling behavior where somebody feels a feels afraid. And sometimes it's physical abuse, but it can be emotional abuse, financial abuse, sexual abuse. So there's many different ways that domestic violence plays out in an intimate partner relationship. Financial abuse. Absolutely. I, I never thought of that. Mm -hmm. I, I just Wow, I mean, um, and can you tell us about some of the events that are coming up so that we can we can find out a little bit, I'm sorry, I'm kind of stuck on financial abuse. Oh. I, I just never considered that a form of abuse. Well, again, if it's a controlling behavior, when someone's controlling, they're not offering help, they're not giving money, there's different ways that that plays they're out. They're withholding. Could be, yes, mostly wow. it would be withholding. And it keeps somebody stuck in a place where they're not able to move or have freedom. And it also, if it makes somebody feel afraid, that's a sign that there's a domestic violence or abuse that's happening in that relationship. And so Domestic Violence Awareness Month is just that. It's a way for us to have a whole month to bring awareness to the fact that domestic violence is happening in our community. What does that look like? Um, how do we bring awareness to the situation? But also what help is out there available to the community if they are going through a, an abusive relationship? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Share some of the activities that are coming up that our families can participate in throughout the month. One that's coming up on this Thursday at 1130, I'm very proud about, is the Men's March Against Violence. Oh. It's our 30th Men's March for Oahu. So really excited to say that men are going to come out by the hundreds to demonstrate and be an example to our community that violence does not have to be a part of our family um, or ohanas. Next after that, we have um, the Domestic Violence Clearinghouse, no, excuse me, that's our old yeah, agency yeah. name. <laughs> our, the Hawaii State Coalition Against Domestic Violence is having a sign waving in front of the state capitol. And then also there's going to be a pride parade where um, there will be uh, agencies representing that community. And then on October 23rd, we're going to have a candlelight vigil oh. to, mem to remember and memorialize those who have died because of domestic violence, which yes. is sad, but we can't forget their names. We cannot forget no, them. Absolutely, no. Monique. Now, looking out for each other's is important, and I know you have some good tips for us on how we can do that, how we can search for help for ourselves or for somebody that we love, yes? Absolutely. So number one, call the Domestic Violence Action Center helpline. We have a helpline where we can and answer questions if someone's not sure if they're the, themselves are in an abusive relationship or their loved one might be give us a call and we can answer those questions but we're not the only ones again reach out to the Hawaii State Coalition Against Domestic Violence they have um, all of their members listed so if there's other agencies that someone wants to go to for like example shelter or um, support groups they can call uh, other agencies as well and I think it's just important for us to kind of um, talk about this. Get it out there. Absolutely. Like you said in the very beginning, let us remove the stigma so that we can talk about it and we can have healthier families and healthier communities. Absolutely. Yes. Oftentimes we don't want to butt into somebody's business. It's their business. But let's talk about it. Let's get in. We don't necessarily have to get right into their business, but maybe just have some conversations. Ask if somebody feels safe or they're scared. Offer them the number that they might be able to call. You know, Domestic Violence Awareness Month is one month out of the year. But we have to really look at it every single month out of the year because domestic violence is happening every single day in our communities. And we really have to keep it at the forefront to think about it and make sure that people get the help that they need. And you're helping us to do that right here on this very first day of October. Thank you so much. Monique Ibarra, our Chief Executive Officer of the Domestic Violence Action Center. Mahalo. We'll be right back.